Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with my channel here. I haven't posted a video in a while because I've got a lot of projects going on. I just released my Easy ABL kit, which is a universal auto bed leveling kit for most Marlin 3D printers. And it's been really popular. I had quite a few days to make and package and sell a bunch of the kits. And I want to just thank everybody who purchased the kits and supported me. And I did have some hiccups, and they were all addressed in a timely manner. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been understanding. We had a shipment of DC jacks come in that were a slightly larger diameter on the center pin, and it required me to send out adapters to everybody. And I just wanted to thank everybody for being understanding about that. You know, things happen. It's literally just me doing this, so I'm trying to do what I can. And, you know, staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning to get orders out and, you know, the modules made. But anyways... And updates with the channel, I will be posting a follow-up review to the Anycubic Castle that I reviewed that Gearbest sent me. I've done a few upgrades to it, so I'm going to do an overall review on that. And then I think I'm just going to do kind of a overall review on the printers I have running right now and the mods that I've done to them. Because I have an S4 that I did an overhaul on, which is sitting behind me. Um, new board, new enclosure, power supply, bed, that kind of thing. Um, again, the Anycubic. And then the start, I'm going to go over and just get my thoughts on that because there's been a lot of stuff going on with iMaker and their lack of support and issues with the parts. I'll probably end up putting that particular update in a separate video. So it'll be one coming out for the Anycubic Castle and one for the S4 upgrades that I've done and what is good and bad about them. Uh, but anyways, right now I'm currently in the process of moving my entire office, which this is my office right now. This is like my living room it's an open area um, my roommate moved out and so i'm moving everything into my second bedroom which is 160 square feet so all the printers my desk my computer everything's going to go in that room and then that's going to be a dedicated work area for the 3d printers and my computer and you know my it consulting type stuff so i can get all this stuff out of our living area um, so my fiance and other people don't have to look and listen to the printers going because they can get kind of loud sometimes but anyways, I just want to post a video to let you guys know I am alive. Um, I am planning on doing other videos. I also have, for printer reviews, I have a printer from Gearbest. That's the TiVo Tarantula. I'm just going to look over here. That's the 200 by 200 by 200 printer right now. Um, I've received it. It's sitting in my office right now. And I've already opened it up, make sure everything's good. The packaging is amazing like it's the best packaging I've seen on a 3d printer kit by far um, but there are some other things I can see right off the bat are going to be an issue but I'm going to do a full review of that an unboxing uh, time lapse of the build and then a afterthoughts of printing on it for a little while like I did with the castle and then in addition to that I have a ANET A8 that I started assembling that I bought a brand new kit just so I can build it completely stock and then go through every single upgrade on this printer so you guys can see what you would do if you want to replicate the setup and the kind of things i'm going to be doing on it is keeping it direct drive by going with a titan arrow uh, which is a geared extruder that is also a hot end all in one nice lightweight package with a small stepper so i'm going to be covering that but i'm going to build it stock do a review on it stock now i've already built that printer before but I'm going to build it stock and keep it that way, do some prints on it, and all the parts that are going to be for it are going to be printed on it. So the idea is if you have an ANET A8, you can follow along with this video series and replicate what I do, take or take bits and pieces from what you do, what my recommendations are, because I'm going to cover frame stability, hot end upgrades, board upgrades uh, from start to finish. So last time when I first got it, it was my first printer, I just went full throttle on upgrading it you know I was enjoying myself but now I'm gonna take the time to go through it step by step so everybody can see what's going on uh, but that's about it um, <laughs> now like there's not a lot going on but the office move is gonna take probably most of this week so I'm not gonna be very active and then once I get the office set up I will be starting to shoot more videos and I can I'm gonna try to shoot for one video a week and see if I can keep up with that so if there's anything you guys would like to see on the channel, let me know. I do have about seven or eight different brands of PLA, including one from uh, Tiny Machines, which is a guy out in Texas. His name's Chris Bennett. Um, he's actually one I worked with on developing and testing this easy ABL kit because it's very popular with the CR10 guys. So 
I'm going to be covering basically affordable filaments from $10 rolls to up to, up to 25 is that's like the range for your affordable filaments or, you know, we're not talking about the 30, 40, 50, $60 rolls of filament. Um, cause most people print the cheaper stuff. I print most of the cheaper stuff and it works great, but I want to be able to tell you guys what brands to stick with and what brands to stay away from. Cause I've had some really bad stuff to be completely honest. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. Um, I'm literally just going to post this as it is. I'm recording this in OBS with my Yeti mic and the webcam. So apologize if the audio quality isn't up to par because I'm not going to do any post-processing on this. I just want to get a video up so you guys know I'm not dead and know what's going on and leave a comment if there's any other printers you would like to see reviewed because at this point I can purchase printers for the channel for review purposes or even have GearBest send me it for review um, so I'm not having to go out of pocket. Uh, the plan is with these eight easy ABL kits, I'm taking that money not only to buy more supplies to build more of these kits, but it's going to fund the channel so I can purchase more stuff to do reviews on to let you guys know what sucks and what doesn't. Um, one last thing though, my brother Top Hat Waffle, if you look up Top Hat Waffle, that's T-O-P-H-A-T-T -T -T, Waffle here on YouTube, he's currently building a Tronxy X3 that I got my rep at GearBest to send him. So he's going to be doing a review on that at the end of the week. He's currently building it. He's had some issues and hiccups, so I've been helping him along here because it's his first 3D printer and it's a kit. So go look him up. He does a lot of uh, Counter-Strike and Source Engine mapping type things. I'm pretty sure I'm not covering even the ice, tip of the iceberg of what he does, but that's what his channel is right now. So he's going to be doing some like Counter-Strike prints, taking the models from the game, doing prints with him, which is kind of cool. So... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. And if you got any ideas for my office, what kind of stuff I should add in to try to make the stream a little bit better. I'm going to have multiple cameras set up with multiple angles so I can switch between them and have the cameras set up all the time. Because right now I'm literally setting up cameras and taking them down after every shot. So I'm going to have stuff set up so I can record videos quicker and get better quality. So thank you for watching. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I, I Is that even really necessary? There's like everybody does that. Is it is it necessary?